Oh, come on. Whipping come on, come on, things come on. and having the starch go crazy. All right, so if you ever have cream or milk kind of boil like crazy over. So she's making potato puree, which is kind of a combination of riced potatoes. So you cook them and push them through the thing. And then you add butter and then usually milk or cream and then some seasoning. Sometimes you'll season this milk. And if you ever have this boil over or you, it looks like it's going to boil over, the two-step thing that I always default to is burner off, blow on it. And what that does is that gives the steam somewhere to escape because oftentimes the fat kind of accumulates at the top and then it turns into this like it can hold a lot of air. And so as the steam is trying to expand, it holds these bubbles and it'll kind of go up and up and up. And you see that she like doesn't want to touch it because you don't want to jostle it. But the first move that you should do is burn her off, blow on it. That tends to prevent the major blow over, and then you can move it off of the heat. So if you're using, you know, a burner that's still hot or something like that, then you can move it off of the heat. But she was like, she saw it happening, and I was like, oh my god, turn the burner off and blow on it. Like, that's immediately where my head went, but she didn't do that. So if you keep that in the back of your mind, and if you just do it enough times, like I've had to make potato puree too many times, 